Join me, everyone. Let's catch the wave on Arirang Radio. All right, everyone. Uh, welcome back, TGIF, to all the listeners. If you're just tuning in uh, to Arirang Radio, uh, this is Catch uh, the Wave, and of course, uh, we are now jumping into our uh, K Talk with Hyunwoo uh, segment. Hyunwoo is unfortunately a little bit sick uh, today, so Hyojin Sanseng-nim is joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's not your first time here. Uh, mm-hmm. We've uh, had you before on the program, so welcome once again. Thank you for having me again. Oh, it's a pleasure. And maybe some of our listeners actually already recognize your sweet, lovely voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they uh, maybe hear you and see you on the videos uh, you share uh, with Talk to Me in Korean.com. Maybe you can introduce what you do for uh, the company and for Hyunwoo? Well, we, everyone in Talk to Me in Korean, mm-hmm. we teach Korean yes. through podcasts or online videos. Mm-hmm. And I have my own little segment called Ask Hyojin. Ask Hyojin. Mm-hmm, where you can ask. Not about me or not about Adrian, uh-huh. but about Cor- the Korean language or Korean culture. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so perfect. Today, and we will uh, do the same today. So if uh, you want to participate, you can ask Hyojin mm-hmm. some questions uh, regarding uh, Korean people, Korean language, and Korean culture. We'll try to answer your questions in the second hour. You can leave us your messages on our homepage, arirangradio.com slash catch the wave or uh, perhaps also the uh, Facebook wall for our show catch the wave just type it in and uh, you'll find our page very very easily at the top of the list send us your messages uh, on the wall for instance and we will answer them in the second hour so we're basically gonna uh, keep the same format we are going to introduce the listeners to expressions in the first hour and then in the second hour we will listen to some of your audio files, your audio clips, and we will answer your questions. How does that sound? Is that okay? Yes, perfect. Okay, so let's uh, not waste any time right now. What is the first expression, please? It's a very, I think it's a very funny Mm -hmm. and interesting expression. Yes. 김치국부터 마시다. 김치국부터 마시다. I'll show uh, the little uh, (laughs) nice whiteboard we have here with the expression and a nice little drawing. Now, to be completely honest, I don't really understand the drawing. What what is this? (laughs) I mean, there's a girl. She's holding a bowl of kimchi soup or kimchi kuk. Yes. And she's thinking about uh, some sticks. What are the sticks here? Well, that was my best try drawing talk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is actually talk. Yes, okay. Kare talk. Oh yeah, the long white uh, rice cakes, right? Yes. Okay, now I see. And and what does this mean? I mean, she's she wants to eat kimchi kuk, but she's thinking about these rice cakes. Well, Can you the, explain the expression? Yes, the full version of this expression is 떡줄 사람은 생각도 안 하는데 김치 국부터 마시다. Mm-hmm. So, 떡줄 사람. I, for example, let's say I have the 떡 and you want to eat it. Yes. So, but I am not thinking of giving it to you. You're not going to give it to me. No. No. I'm sorry. But, no. <laughs> but I'm already thinking that I'm going to get it. Yes. So, I'm basically going too far. I'm thinking too far ahead. Yes, exactly. So, when Korean people eat 떡, we... Sometimes we eat kimchi the dog with kimchi kuk. Kimchi soup. Yes, kim dog is pretty dry. Yeah. So you want to drink something, so we eat with kimchi kuk. Mm-hmm. So when you think about eating dog, you also think about eating kimchi kuk yeah. as well. So you're supposed to eat the rice cake or the dog first, and then you mm-hmm. eat the the kimchi soup. Yes. But in the drawing here, mm-hmm. the girl is already eating eating the the kimchi soup before the rice cakes. There's no rice cake. Yeah. But she's already <laughs> eating the kimchi kuk. <laughs> now I see. I understood the expression. The, the English uh, version of uh, this expression here is basically don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Yes. Exactly. So don't go ahead of yourself. Mm-hmm. So let's say uh, someone uh, bought a lottery ticket mm-hmm. or maybe... Um, Yeah, a lottery ticket. I think that's a good example. And this person is already saying, oh, uh, I'm going to buy a house. I'm going to buy a sports car and I'm going to spend my money like this, like that. But the person didn't win yet. You don't know yet. You don't know yet. (laughs) In that case, I can say, 
김치국부터 마시고 있네. Or 김치국부터 <laughs> 마시지 마. <laughs> okay, so the expression for you once again here. Uh, you can also check out the videos. We post videos of this show uh, every single week on uh, the YouTube channel of Talk To Me In Korean. Mm-hmm. So uh, you can also check out some of the previous editions. We'll be back after a little song break and we will teach you another expression. So stay tuned and if you have any questions, uh, send us your feedback. Once again, this show is yours. The song we're going to play right now Now is IU Haru Kut, the end of the day. Haru Kut, the end of the day. That was uh, the young and very talented and beautiful singer IU. You like IU, Hyojin? Of course. Yeah, everyone loves her here in Korea. Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have some more music down the line, everyone. So continue enjoying Catch the Wave. We are teaching you some Korean expressions here with Hyojin Sunsengnim from TalkToMeInKorean.com. The first expression was uh, actually uh, an expression you use when you're going too fast and your thoughts are maybe too far ahead. Uh, it was the expression Kimchi Kukbuto Mashida. Now, the second expression is related to money money um what is it exactly uh the expression is 허리가 휘다 허리가 휘다 i'm showing it right now 허리가 휘다 we have a nice little drawing hyojin you're really good uh, <laughs> really good artist uh, we have this little person uh, basically uh, um, uh trying to pick up some money from the floor so her, <laughs> her waist is basically uh kind of uh, bent. tilted mm-hmm. bent uh, forward so tell us about this expression horiga fida well the literal meaning is not very difficult it's very straight straightforward uh-huh. hori means waist my waist, waist okay mm-hmm. and fida means to be bent uh-huh so basically so... my waist is bending bent. yes okay because of a burden a burden so yes. i have too many bills for yes. instance money usually with this expression we talk about financial burdens financial burdens so let's say i'm living in seoul uh, all alone by myself and i have to pay my uh, rent mm-hmm. i have to pay my travel or my transportation expenses my phone bills electricity bills and i don't have a lot of money uh, <laughs> i'm still a student or i'm working part time mm-hmm. then i can say yojum himdeureyo it's really hard these days horiga uh himnida 네, 맞아요. Yes, exactly. Okay. 허리가 휘어요. Hmm. Or, uh, I can't imagine a parent or parents, uh, they are paying for their children for everything. Like their like tuition fees. Or living costs. Accommodation. Like bills, all the bills. Oh. And only the father is working. It's really hard then. It is. So, then, you use this expression. Yeah, uh, 허리가 휜다. 허리가 휜다. Basically, you're working hard to make ends meet. Exactly. Uh, working hard to make ends meet. I guess this uh, this can happen to really everyone. And mm-hmm. uh, when you uh, are in another country or when you are a student, uh, sometimes you don't have enough money. So, you are in this situation. Yeah, you can picture it. A mm. person bending over. Yeah. With- A burden. <laughs> I'll show it again. And the drawing explains the expression very, very well. You can see it here. Uh, we have a, a lady or a young woman trying to pick up money from the floor. Uh, basically, she's uh, trying to work her way and trying to pay the bills and trying to make ends meet. And uh, so I guess uh, she's kind of... Uh, her waist is kind of bent forward. So that's the expression. 허리가 휜다. Uh, have you been in this situation before? Or maybe... Uh, your friends or your family? Maybe my parents. <laughs> your, your parents because they had to pay for your education. Yeah, everything. <laughs> uh-huh. So now you're going to have to pay them back? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Making lots of money. Yes. Okay. So that's the second expression. Is there um, another situation where we can use this expression or is it mostly when uh, it's uh, money related? Well, it's mostly about financial burdens. Okay. So that's for you, listeners. Mostly when you have money problems, you can use this expression. 허리가 휜다. 
Okay, thank you very much uh, for uh, these two uh, expressions here today, Hyojin. When we come back in the second hour, we will be listening to some of our listeners' uh, voice messages, sound clips. And if you want to participate, you can send them in on uh, our homepage, actually, arirangradio.com. But we also have an email where you can send us your audio clips and your files, Catch Korean Wave at gmail.com catch korean wave at gmail.com feel free and we'll talk to you very soon again we'll play some music right now for you everyone don't go anywhere enjoy the program and of course tgif once again we'll see you on the other side this is mongni singing uh malsongiji that's right yes malsongiji mayo mangsoriji mayo oh that's hard uh mangsoriji mayo which means don't hesitate don't be hesitant we'll see you soon All right, everyone. Yes, indeed. Let's catch the wave. We are back and uh, TJF to all of you. We will now be listening to some of your audio clips. We taught you some expressions. You can check out a photo of Hyojin and I on our Facebook wall and also on our homepage. We are holding some nice whiteboards with the expressions of this week. So look those up and tell us what you think. I'm also uh, now going to introduce uh, two people. We selected two people and we are going to air their uh, messages. The first one was sent to us here. Uh, it's actually in several languages. We have some French, we have some Korean. We have 안녕하세요. Bonjour, Adrien. Thank you for the wonderful job and uh, thank you very much for teaching us this beautiful language. Um, I'm going to write the rest of this email in French. Je suis roumaine qui habite et travaille en France depuis une demi-année. Basically, she's Romanian, but she lives in France and she has been living there for about six months. And she is studying Korean language. She's been doing so for about a year and a half. And uh, she says due to work, she was quite busy. Uh, so she didn't really uh, manage to study a lot. She says, Ajik <laughs> morosoyo. Isn't this the expression? that you introduced yes <laughs> still a long way to go and uh, she says today I'm sending you a little uh, dialogue from a Korean book the Korean book title is Kwengi Purimal Aidel Kwengi Purimal Aidel yes so what is this book it's a new book for me I haven't heard of this uh, book actually it's a very very famous book in Korea oh is it really yes it has become famous av- ever since it was introduced in this show uh-huh. f- a few years ago. Okay. And it's a children's book. A children's book. Who is the author? Kim Jung-mi okay. is the author. Uh-huh. And Kwengi Purima is the name of the place, I believe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but it's a children's book and it's mm-hmm. quite famous. And I guess uh, our friend here, Oana, is maybe learning Korean with this book she says it's a little bit difficult for me i hope i didn't make uh, too many mistakes why don't we listen to it and hyojin you can maybe correct her and give her some advice dongjuna dongjuna hakyo kaja dongjuni nen ajikdo jamul chaneunji deogeopbi eopta ya yi dongjun jigeun yeolashi 45 bon ya <laughs> You're late. Really? Hurry up. Get out of bed. <laughs> get up. Get up. Let's go. All right. So I guess it's a little uh, dialogue from this uh, children's book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think her pronunciation overall is very good. Yeah, I could understand it. Yeah. It was pretty good. So thank you very much, Oana, for this uh, great uh, recording. Can you maybe help her out on some issues here? Okay. Uh, the first thing mm-hmm. I... Uh, noticed was that her intonation when he read 대답이 없다 was mm-hmm. a little different from what I would read. Okay, what so what I... did she read? Let's listen to it once again. Dongjun이는 아직도 잠을 자는지 대답이 없다. 대답이 없다. Yeah, she said 대답이 없다. 
Uh huh. But so how is it supposed to be? 대답이 없다. 대답이 없다. Yes, 대답이 없다. Ah, okay. So at the end of uh, the the previous word, mm-hmm. you have to go up and then you come down with 없다. Yes. 대답이 없다. Okay, so that's uh, in terms of intonation. Your pronunciation is good, so it's mm-hmm. just the intonation you can work on for that uh, phrase. Uh, what else? Uh, 그 소리에 동준이는 눈을 낯 뻘쩍 뜨고, but 번쩍 뜨고. 번쩍. Yes. So it's 번쩍 뜨고, yes. 그리고 벌떡 일어나다. Yes. 눈을 번쩍. Do you know what this means? It means like opening your eyes like really quickly or really, really quickly, big? Really quickly, really big. Yeah, both. <laughs> 눈을 <laughs> 번쩍 and 뜨고 uh-huh. and 벌떡 일어났다. Yeah. You get up really quickly. Okay. Because you're surprised or you're, you don't want to be lying. <laughs> okay, so let's listen to this part once again. 눈을 벌쩍 뜨고 Hmm, so yeah, so it's 번쩍 Instead of 벌쩍 Instead of 벌쩍, it's 번쩍 뜨고. Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this could be a little bit confusing here because we have 번쩍 뜨고 and 벌떡 일어나다. Your pronunciation is really uh, good. <laughs> it's not 벌떡 뜨고 and uh, 번쩍 일어나다. No, it's a fixed expression. <laughs> 번쩍 뜨고 and 벌떡 일어나다. Okay, there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Oana, for your message and you're doing a great job. Continue learning Korean. You're on the right track. Uh, and she says, 수고하세요, 감사합니다. Well, the same back to <laughs> you. Uh, let's move on to the second uh, listener of uh, the day here and the second uh, person we selected. I'm going to read her message. It's Mina. Hello, my name is Mina. I've been listening to Catch the Wave ever since you guys came out and I have not missed any videos. Yes, the videos are online every single week on uh, the YouTube channel of Talk To Me In Korean. So you can look those up. If you type in Catch The Wave on uh, YouTube, you will find all our previous videos. She continues, I've also learned Korean for about two years now with Talk To Me In Korean, but I have just now gathered enough courage to send you guys an audio clip of my Korean. She says, 잘 못 해지만 잘 못하지만 열심히 공부하겠습니다. Thank you for all your help and thank you for all the video lessons. So I guess this goes to you. She says thank you thank to you, you. Georgine. <laughs> I think she has a song from uh, Girls Generation, 소녀시대. Why don't we listen to it and then maybe you can uh, try to give her some advice. Here we go. 때론 잘못된 선택 들어 아파했지 말 아무 말 없이 뒤에서 지켜봐 주셔도 서툴고린 아이지만 이젠 알것 같아요 엄마의 도용한 기로에 이미를 마음이 예쁜 사람이 될게요 남을 먼저 생각하는 사람 되게요 엄마의 사랑의 바람들을 지켜갈게요 나와 꿈을 함께 나누던 내 머리 비켜주던 엄마가 생각나 Wow. Good job. She's a good singer too. Yeah, she has a really pretty voice. It's not easy to sing, first of all. And Mm -hmm. then it's even harder if you have to sing in uh, a second or third language. Exactly. So good job, Mina. Congratulations. That's uh, a very nice song too. The song is uh, basically Dear Mom by Girls' Generation. What can you tell Mina about maybe her pronunciation here? Well, her pronunciation was really good. Mm-hmm. I can point out one thing, okay. but it's not her fault, actually. Yeah, what is um, it? 엄마의 사랑을, 엄마의 사랑의 바램들을 지켜갈게요. I think girls' generation sing like this. Yeah, uh, why? What's the problem here? Well, the word 바램. 바램? Is the problem. <laughs> why? It's because not correct? It is not correct, but a lot of Koreans use this word. Yeah, 바램. It's actually from the verb 바라다, 바라다. not 바래다. It's to wish or... To hope for something. To hope for something. So the noun form of noun form of this verb mm-hmm. is 바람, not 바램. The infinitive form is 바라다, so the noun is 바람. Yes. 바람 like the wind, 바람? 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. But the thing is, a lot, a lot, a lot of Korean just say "param" instead, instead of, of "param." param. Okay, so but this is not her fault. This is actually this the is song itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, you're safe and you're doing good, Mina. Thank you very much. A beautiful song, and also I think uh, your Korean will definitely improve if you use Korean songs. And uh, this is also a good advice, maybe for all the listeners who are learning Korean. If you find a group and a a song that you like, you can work on your pronunciation and you can learn some new vocabulary with the lyrics. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there for uh, this little part. If you want to do just like Mina, and if you want to do just like Oana as well, you can send us your audio clips on uh, or to our email address, catchkoreanwave at gmail.com. Yes, and send us your questions as well. Uh, we will uh, be answering some of your curiosities uh, right after the song break. And uh, Hyojin is here, so she will uh, try to maybe satisfy your expectations in terms of Korean language. Language, Korean culture, and maybe even questions uh, about Korean people. We're going to play uh, the song we just heard here, Girls' Generation, Sonyo Shide, Dear Mom. This song goes to all the mothers listening and also to all the future mothers listening <laughs> to Catch the Wave. We'll be back.